Well, hello there guys and welcome back to another unboxing video here on the channel. Now, it's been a little while since we've done a uh, unboxing video and I feel like I say that in, in like every single unboxing video that I make because I, I don't really do these that often anymore or, you know, as much as I used to, that's for sure. Um... But, you know, the, the main reason for that is, is I don't really ever get anything interesting that I would think would be cool to show on video. Um, but today I have something that I think is, you know, very cool and something that I think some of you guys would like out there. And, as you can tell from the title, that is going to be uh, Digital Research Gem Draw Plus. Uh, we're going to be taking a look inside of this today. So, this was released um, in the, you know, mid to late 1980s. This uh, particular version, I believe, is coming from 1986. Um, and Gem Draw Plus essentially is, as you can tell from the title, a drawing software. Um, but what's, you know, pretty cool about this is not only does this come with uh, Gem Draw Plus, it also includes the Gem desktop software, Gem 3 desktop, as well as some other software down there. And Gem Desktop, if you're not familiar with that, essentially is a sort of uh, graphical user interface um, that would run on top of uh, DOS and it kind of was meant to uh, compete with uh, Microsoft Windows. However, I believe that uh, Gem was released before Microsoft Windows. But Gem stands for uh, Graphical Environment Manager. That's how that it kind of got the name. And this is a um, operating environment very similar to the first version of uh, Microsoft Windows. Now, Windows 1 was not like an operating system in and of itself, but it would run on top of MS-DOS. And that's pretty much what, what this was. You know, you would have DOS installed on, um, you know, whatever computer that you were using at the time, and you would uh, install this on top of DOS, and you would be able to graphically uh, manage all your DOS files. So let's just, uh, enough talking, let's just actually uh, take a look at the box. I mean, I know that I usually kind of ramble on, but I do like to give you guys a, a bit of history um, of whatever product it is before that I actually go into actually opening it up because it just is kind of more interesting that way so you guys actually know what this product is. Um, but here's uh, the, the back of the box. You just saw the front, obviously. Um, sorry for that little glare there. The lighting in here is not the greatest, but I had to make it work. Um, so here's the back. It's kind of, it's kind of telling you uh, some of the features uh, of the actual program. This is Gem Draw Plus, not just Gem. And we have uh, your system requirements down here, and you can see how low that these uh, requirements are compared to today. Um, but that's obvious because this was back in 1980 or mid to late 1980s. You see, we need a, a, a IBM PC, XT PC, and pretty much any uh, IBM compatible computer. And they uh, uh, specify uh, PC DOS, MS DOS, or DR DOS, or uh, concurrent DOS. DR DOS was uh, Digital Research's own version of DOS. And at the bottom down here, you see we have the uh, Digital Research logo and all the you know copyright stuff, whatever. Um, so yeah, let's just uh, open this up. You see on the top here it says limited export, not intended for use in Europe, the Middle East, and South Africa. Um, on the bottom, we have some more, uh, some old stickers, kind of saying what this is, Gem Draw Plus 2.0. And yeah, so let's just uh, slide the sleeve cover up here, kind of nice how it comes off like that. And we're going to pull out the all of the uh, software uh, literature, etc. I'm just going to put this thing kind of back in here. Um, so this, I, I believe this comes with everything that it uh, originally came with. I don't think there's anything missing, but we'll just take a look at these manuals here. So this first manual is for Gem Artline, which was another piece of software created by them. Um, this could be very similar to um, Gem Draw Plus, but I believe it's it's more intended for like creating uh, uh, like computer generated art and stuff like that. Um, you, you can kind of see some of them. I'm trying to get like some picture or like some actual screenshots of it. So yeah, that is the manual uh, for Gem Artline. Um, probably an, a, another bundled piece of software in there. We have Gem Draw Plus, uh, the actual manual for Gem Draw Plus, um, which is you know advertised on the box. So here's some uh, nice little screenshots of the of the uh, program, which is pretty nice. Let's kind of go through here and and show you. Um, again, I'm, I'm only going to go through these briefly because I don't want to make this a long video. Next, we have uh, the Gem 3 Desktop User's Guide. This is the, the actual uh, operating environment itself. And you can see we kind of have, um, like, this is some very nice artwork on here, actually. I, I really like them. I, I'm a fan of this older type of, of, you know, artwork on here. This looks pretty nice. Um, 
so here's uh, gem draw or not gem draw gem three desktop this is the actual uh, user guide um, so that's pretty cool we have an installation guide for gem three desktop which is going to tell you how to uh, install it on your computer just kind of come thumb through here uh, a little bit it, it, it just kind of tells you information about like how to like you, like uh, depending on what system you have it may be a, the uh, install may be a little bit different um, so that is that we also have some other things in here we have gem draw plus release note one this looks like it came out of one of those manuals or maybe it was something because this is a release note so maybe this is some note or something that they bundled in we have gem 3 release notes from may 1988 so that's pretty cool we have um an unused software performance report and this is um <laughs> These are just cool, uh, all these like things that you would mail back to them are just really cool to uh, look at, and most of them go unused, as you can see this one did. It, see, has, it, it still has uh, the big like uh, red number still stamped on there, and it has DRI's old uh, address, which is Box DRI in Monterey, California. Um, and essentially what this is, is you would like write some like information um, to kind of tell uh, if you were satisfied with the product or not, and you would mail this to them. And... It has like this is uh, a just like sort of carbon copy thing going on here where you have like three different copies of it. So I guess you would send one to them and keep two for yourself, I guess. But so that's pretty cool. That's unused. We have a uh, Gem Three device driver packs, which is um, I believe this is for yeah this is for ordering stuff. So if you wanted uh, like some of these uh, like driver packs for whatever system you were using, you see it has all the different systems up here um, or some of them rather. Yeah, here's the code right here. So you would enter that code um, on the back here somewhere, and they're ten dollars each apparently for for uh, drivers. And yeah, post office box DRI. Is that, it's actually pretty cool that they can have. I didn't know you could do post office box in letters because I, I I just got mine recently and they just uh, like assigned it. Um, like they didn't let me pick anything, but yeah, it's PO box DRI. Um, so yeah, that's uh, a order form, and we have the end user license uh, agreements as well. Pretty standard stuff. Um, also, in here we have a, a business reply mail card. This is their other address, I guess. Seventy or no, that's the same box DRI thing. Seventy Garden Court. Um, business reply mail. Um, I was I always think about setting these things in to see if it would still actually get to whatever address that is, but I think that I've looked this up, and there's some other business there now, um, at whatever, uh, or at 70 Garden Court, so I, I just wonder what they would, like, like, see if they get, like, something from, like, the 1980s from DRI, it'd be kind of, be kind of cool, so I, I may send this in, I may not, but actually, I'm, I'm probably not going to, I'm probably just going to keep it to go with the software, but well, you see, this is uh, your software uh, registration card because back in this time before, you know, like the internet and everything to like uh, register your software to get like some benefits and stuff, I guess, from DRI, you'd have to mail in this card and they would usually offer you like some free things or like you'd be entered into a uh, like free giveaway. If you see in uh, my old Microsoft software unboxings, if you send that card in, you would get a, a free trip to, I think it was uh, Hawaii or Florida. So yeah, that, that was pretty nice. Um, but I don't see that on this DRI card here. Um, but it does say benefits to registered users include notice of updates and enhancements to digital research software. So I'm guessing they would like mail you stuff um, to your address. So yeah, pretty nice. And we also have a, uh, for, a, for people with kind of small text thing. Um, and this is like... So it's for people with big ideas, this nice little like uh, graphic card here. It's actually really cool. Um, so this is kind of telling you all the software by them. See, DRDOS 3, uh, Concurrent DOS, uh, Concurrent DOS 386, and Concurrent DOS 386 again. So they got a bunch of DOS uh, products. Um, this is telling you, I think, yeah, yes, I'd like to learn more information uh, from DRI so you could check like you know what were you, uh, what you were interested in and you can mail it to them um here is kind of a, a big like graphical or 
I think you would call this uh, a, a brochure, but it's just kind of cool, like like uh, these like big quote marks, and it kind of shows you all their software, and then it has end quote marks down here. It's just a kind of nice design. Um, so it's got uh, all their different gem software, gem word chart, graph, draw plus, and it kind of shows you you know what they can do and everything. So really nice. Um, so yeah, uh, some some cool stuff. Yeah, this is this is really cool. Just just taking a look at this stuff. Um, this is just what you've been looking for. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is uh, some more stuff uh, from DRI. Um, and here we go. We have the actual floppy diskettes themselves here. So we have um, actually, I I don't think all the floppy di uh, diskettes are in here because you see that it says that it'll come with uh, Gem Three Desktop, um, Bitstream, and Frontware. I can barely see that through the uh, through the viewfinder, but so. All we have here are the is the uh, GemDraw Plus installation floppy for version two, and we have the uh, Gem Three, so like the actual um, operating environment. And you can see one of three, two of three, and three of three. And we see it's copyrighted 1985, 1988 April, and this one is 1985, 1988 February. So pretty cool. But yeah, that is pretty much it for uh, DR, or I almost said DRDOS, but for GemDraw Plus. Um, I know these uh, unboxings videos can be a little bit long, and I kind of try to make them a little bit longer because I, I kind of want to explain um, kind of what that we're taking a look at here so you guys just don't have, like, so you just don't come to the video and have them, like, like look up stuff. Because I don't want to have people do that. Like, I, I want people to um, know what it is that they're watching. Um... But for, for those of you who haven't heard of uh, DRI or uh, D Digital Research, as they're called, um, most of you probably haven't really heard of them unless you were around uh, in, like, the 1980s. But if you weren't, um, pretty much they were a similar company uh, to Microsoft. They actually, they actually came about before Microsoft, I, I believe. And they actually almost signed the deal, as I'm sure you all know, um, the reason why Microsoft is uh, so, like, uh, successful They um, one of the main reasons how they got their start is they actually signed a deal with IBM to license their uh, Microsoft DOS product on IBM PCs, and it was under the name of PC DOS. And Digital Research was almost in uh, that position, but IBM ended or ended up choosing Microsoft instead of uh, Digital Research. Um, so pretty much, Digital Research could still be around today, and they could still be uh, pretty much the Microsoft of today. I mean, we could be using uh, you know. Uh, DRI software right now, like Gem version 10, or like you know, whatever, like the new version would be probably more than 10 because this was version 3 already. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just they didn't really do so well, they kind of failed uh, as a company and they were bought out uh, by Novell, I believe. And they this is all we have left of them is this old software to kind of see and, and, and look at look back of what once was digital research. Um, of course, I could go on a whole different video about this, and if you guys want to see that, I mean, I, I, I could try to make, like, a history video of, you know, DRI and kind of how they came to be and why they failed. Um, I could do something like that if you guys want, but that's going to end it off for this video right here because this is just an uh, unboxing of Gem Draw Plus. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, definitely be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more unboxings and videos like this in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.